I learned so many things from working with you for those five seasons. And a lot of those things can be taken so far out beyond sport and into life in general. And one of them was looking you in the eye when you're talking. And I was often the runner on game day. And so you demanded that I looked you in the eye. Personally, I hate looking people in the eye, mm -hmm. but you made, made me look you in the eye. And it was something that I learned and developed. And then in even just like delivering a message and understanding that communication is a two-way process. So not just, to, which is very difficult in a game of football as a runner, because you're trying to take a message from the coach and you might have multiple messages because you might have other messages from other assistant coaches or other players that are sitting on the bench, you know, that want to also get a message out that as you're about to run out at the same time as you're trying to create a rotation that might be three way and then take that message, deliver it to a player, make sure they understand it so that then you're demanding that I have eye contact. I'm demanding they have eye contact. I'm making sure they're clear on that message. They understand it so that I run back because you would then often say, what did you say? What specifically did you tell him? And so I knew there was accountability there. So I need to make sure that they, and one of the worst for delivering a message to that I hated the most was Thomas Motlop because he'd always want to argue back with what I was about to say. And I would always have to try and soften it. Actually, I want to know your opinion on this. Do you, would you prefer a runner who goes out and delivers the message in their way, sort of, sort of understanding each individual player and going, okay, I need to be a bit softer with this one and a bit tougher with this one. Or do you just want it, that runner to be more of an actor and deliver it exactly how you are delivering it on the bench? Well, that's why I found you as, you know, my, the best runner I've had in my coaching career. It's obviously because you were involved with the fitness of that playing group. You knew them individually. And look, because, you know, the way that I would say it to you, um, you know, obviously that's where the emotions are running high and the pressure's on. So obviously the way I would say it to you isn't exactly the way I'd want it to the player. But you would, as long as, long as you knew all right, I'm going out to Thomas or VV or Daniel or doesn't matter who you're delivering the message to, you know how to deliver the message, right? So if it came straight from me at that time, then it wouldn't be as effective. So that's why it's always good that you would go out and you would know the individuals and you would know how to rev them up or, or deliver a message a certain way. Um, so yeah, that's why it was always good that you knew how to do it. It was never, never deliberate how I would, uh, you know, pass it on to you. It was just deliberate as best we can. Um, but that's where the eye contact is. You know, there's so many times where you would be coaching and you're talking to a player or a group and you would see if there's that blank look in their face, you know that he doesn't know ex what the hell you're talking about, right? So that's why it's important for me is the, the, the looking in the eye. As long as I'm, I'm delivering a message, you know, to yourself, you're looking at me and you're nodding, go, yep, I understand, cool, all right. When I know you go out, you're gonna deliver in your way exactly what we want. Um, and that's why as a playing group, you know, when you're talking to them and, you know, their eyes are on the ground or they're looking elsewhere, you don't know if they've, you know, you can tell in someone's eyes whether they get what you're saying or not. And that's where I'm big on it. And, and that's where the challenge is, you know, with, uh, you know, coaching some Aboriginal players who, uh, you know, they say they don't like to look you in the eye and that. And, you know, out on that um, the outside of the football arena, um, that's one thing. But when... I demand it, you know, it's like, yes, okay, I understand out there you might feel uncomfortable, but right here, you're going to learn if you're going to play in this environment. Um, when I talk to you, you look at me in the eye because I want to see if you've got that blank look or whether you fully understand exactly what I'm asking of you. And and it's just a trust thing. So, you know, and that's where it's a, it's a, a thing that players then will learn and they'll quickly understand where, you know, if the coach is talking, just, you know, for that, 30 seconds to a minute, just, you know, make the effort just to look him in the eye and keep him happy. And that's it. 